Forby. Hey Forby, would you mind? My name's John. I'm from Boston. Work with the Boston Bruins. Can I do an interview with you? You're a Sox fan. I'd love to talk to you. Hey, you're right over here. Absolutely. So Forby, uh, in this face-off against Cancer. Right, you guys got to win in overtime, huh? Yeah, I did. You know, I, I, I was yelling there. I was yelling, shoot the puck, and I thought we were losing by their goal, and I was yelling, we got to pull their goalie. And they said, one four is tied four four. Not <laughs> <laughs> so much I was in the game. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about your career. Ten years in the league, over a thousand career penalty minutes, including the playoffs. Playing with uh, Philadelphia, Boston, Detroit, Chicago, Toronto. For your size, you were an enforcer. You had to take on the toughest out there, didn't you, to protect well, your teammates? You didn't look for a number. You had to play the game. That's the way it was. Because in the old days, if you back down, you might as well pack your gear, you're done. Right, right, right. And, um, you know, when you first broke in uh, into the league, Chicago and Detroit, it was the original six. Uh, and like you said, you didn't. if you didn't look over your shoulder, your head on a swivel at all times, you'd be be all done. What are some of the tougher guys that you remember, say, that you played with? Teddy Lindsay, Gordy? Well, I would say nobody's going to beat Howard. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> going to beat he, he, he was a Superman. And then after that, I didn't trust anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you went to the Leafs, 1969, you led the league in penalty minutes with 219. Um, you filled a role that they desperately needed at that time, in terms of protecting your line mates, making sure nobody took liberties with your goaltender, etc. cetera. I want to ask you about that game in, with, against Boston when Pat Quinn knocked out Bobby Orr and you went, for lack of a better word, ballistic. Well, you had four fights and you ended up cuffing the lineman. What are your recollections of that well, game? Well, the funny thing about that game was 90% of those guys I played with on the rooms, I ate with Teddy and all the music and all those guys. But when you play with another team, you got a job to do and Punch, we're loose, I think 10 nothing. Punch said, okay boys, let's show them because hey, as long as you don't lose your last game, you're a winner. That don't mean anything. And uh, let's go out there and show them we got to play the next game here. <laughs> the way it went, I knew the score was 10 nothing. He wasn't sending us out there. He said, Ken, do your line. I know he wasn't sending us out there to tie the score. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, you know, away she went. Do you remember what happened after uh, Quinn, Quinn decked Bobby, knocked yeah. him out? And who was your first guy that you took on? Do you remember? Was it Teddy well, Green? I don't Yeah, Teddy and I were buddies. We've been in battles together, and we used to back one another until our nose bleed. And I didn't fight Teddy because I tell you, Rick Lee had him up against the boys holding him, and he said, give it to him now. I couldn't do that. You Good, know, yeah. Teddy and I are the best friends. I said, let him go. And, no, I'm not going to let him go, so I just skated away. I wouldn't do that, and Teddy wouldn't do it to me. Sure, sure, you're old buddies. And who were the other guys who were involved from the old Bruins team in that, that uh, game? Everyone was my friends. I think it didn't bother me. My best buddy was Eddie Johnson, and he was, he was running around, and he was trying to keep me calm and that, because Eddie and I, we lived together, and I played junior together in Montreal, and lived together in Boston, and we got around together all our life. Yeah. Who's the official, do you remember? Yeah, I think it was John Ashley and George was the linesman. I don't know the other, and Pavlich. Yeah. Yeah. If you were to think of one of your great moments in your career in the NHL, I mean, you're a legend here on the island, what would you reflect on one of your most cherished moments playing in well, the National I, Hockey the League? The biggest thing was, and I hardly remember the game because I tell you why, I was so nervous. Like I, I played with the Junior Canadians, Montreal for three years, Henry Short and Phil Gillette and that bunch. And I got traded to Chicago right out of Junior and I made Chicago. My first game playing in the NHL would be my best. Old Chicago that. Stadium. Yeah, that was a big one. Hey, it was a tough building to play in the two. But the worst building to play in was going into Boston Gardens. <laughs> Everybody will tell you that. Nobody wanted to go in and play there. Right. You, you were the enemy uh, for a few years, then yeah. you came, and then you were on the friendly side with yeah. the Boston Bruins. Yeah. yeah, and of all the places I played, I would say Boston was number one, and Philly is a, Philly's like Boston. You, might have, you know, I was there the first year they got hockey going in the NHL. And it was just like if you were playing in Boston, the fans. Rabbit in the in the brand new Spectrum building. Yeah, it was the, that's the way it was. You think that you're playing in Boston, you know, the way the fans were. Yeah. What are, what are your, some of your recollections of playing in, with the with the Flyers and some of the guys that you had? Like you said, it was a new team. The league had just doubled in size. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Ed Snyder didn't gone. Had to be the best owner of all the years that I played hockey. 
He never forgot the old guys. He brought us up old time games and reunions, everything. I never forgot the old time. That's great, great. Thank you, Forby. Okay.